Alors, le prix Raymond John Natashin pour, pour le bénévolat dans les arts du spectacle est décerné à une personne ou à un groupe ayant fait une contribution remarquable à titre bénévole aux arts du spectacle au Canada. Le lauréat recevra un médaillon commémoratif frappé par la monnaie royale canadienne. Cette année, le prix Raymond John Natashin pour le bénévolat dans les arts du spectacle est remis à M. John Kimbell. John Kimbell is one of Canada's most decorated Indigenous leaders. Widely recognized for his work as an activist, entrepreneur, and fundraiser, he established the Inspire Charitable Organ Organization and the Inspire Awards in celebration of Indigenous achievement. His creative vision, cultural leadership, inexhaustible energy, and passionate commitment have earned him many awards and honors. Your Excellency, John Kimbell. I was okay until she started crying. <laughs> Your Excellency and Mr. Excellency, <laughs> it's so marvelous to see you both again. Uh, honored laureates, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and my wonderful family. As a youth, I was challenged to understand just who I was. I wasn't exactly sure where I fit in or belonged. I also wanted to understand the world better to find my place in it. My avenue for exploring my identity and my direction came first through music, dance, television, then activism, and today in business. My grandmother and mother set my purpose and course early on, and their gift to me is that I wake up every day with a purpose and a passion. I am seized each day with how much can be learned and accomplished in one day. Through this journey, I have finally arrived comfortably knowing who I am. I am peaceful with who I am and who I continue to become. I learned from my grandmother that nothing takes the place of persistence and determination. Winston Churchill said, never, never quit, which was an, on an index card on my mother's desk when I was a child. My mother and grandmother taught me to think big and to take risks, to not be afraid, for fear is the mind killer and apathy is the spirit killer. My mother would repeat this famous quotation by Theodore Roosevelt to me, perhaps once a year. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short and short again. Because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. I share this award with those who came before me and brought me to this moment together with them. I am deeply grateful. Thank you.